I knew I wasn't interested in sort of film production or t television or film studies, journalism, but I was more interested in sort of the hows and whys of media and communications. And so media studies is perfect for me because it's a little bit, I joke, it's the academic kind of study of what the media environment is like and how it's changing. And it's a little bit anthropological, a little bit sociological, and you're looking at the hows and whys of media and, and societies and, and cultures. I was lucky enough last, uh, this semester to be interning at the New York Public Library at a program that we uh, that they have called Live from the NYPL, which is a speaker series. Um, writers and filmmakers, artists, thinkers, um, in you know industry people come to the New York Public Library and they just get to talk and they uh, talk about their experiences. It's a very small group of people that I work with, I get to work with, and so I get a lot of hands-on experience. Uh, we do everything from sort of the lead up to all of these events and then also I get to be a part of the event planning and operations and getting to see how that all kind of comes together on this one, you know, on this one event day. Uh, last semester I had the opportunity to intern at the Clinton Global Initiative in the city as well. It's part of the Clinton Foundation, which was uh, founded by former President Clinton, which is a member-based organization that kind of works together. They help to facilitate partnerships with all of these members who are companies or businesses, NGOs, or nonprofits. Um, and so they all come, they can all come together and work on solving world problems, local problems. And so I got to meet President Clinton, I got to meet um, Chelsea Clinton, and they were both fantastic. So this semester I'm finishing up my honors thesis for the Media Studies Department. Uh, one of my professors, um, uh, Dr. Marianne Allison, who has become sort of my mentor, I like to think. She sort of approached me, think, you know, and was just like, do you think this is something you might be interested in? And you know, we talked about it and we, you know, she helped me kind of come to a, a topic that I maybe was interested in. It's about how social media and political presidential campaigns kind of go together. So how do presidential campaigns use social media to really engage with new voters and young voters and it's getting to bridge sort of both of my interests in both politics and campaigning and elections and voter turnout as well as in media. I love getting able to take my ideas that I've kind of formed in classrooms but really getting to take it a step further and make it my own and Dr. Allison is a fantastic, fantastic advisor and just sort of helping me and just kind of prodding me along. So one of the coolest things I got to do at Hofstra was be a part of Debate 2012. It was a fantastic experience from my perspective because I got to be involved in so many different things and the university was so great about getting students involved and interested in what was going on. And I took a one credit class, it was really, you know, two months and we got to be and help out at um, all of these different events that sort of led up to the debate. So a lot of the lectures with um, politicians or journalists or um, academics who, as a poli-sci major, I heard about, read about, seen on TV, uh, heard on the radio, that kind of thing. And to be a part of all of that was a really cool opportunity. And then on debate day, I actually got to be a campaign runner. And so I got a really cool behind the scenes view of what it's like to be on a campaign and what they're doing on a day to day basis and on big event days like on a debate day. Uh, and I also got to be in the debate hall, which was really cool. Um, I still get really excited when I think about it and I get to tell people about it. And I'm also a, currently a Pride Guide, which is our name for our student ambassadors here at Hofstra. And I've been able to do that now for almost two and a half years. And it's, I love it. I love getting to talk about Hofstra. I love getting to talk to prospective students and families. So after graduation, I am going to look for a job. I actually sort of just started and um, I'm kind of interested in going into community outreach, event outreach, organizing, something like that for nonprofits. Uh, I think eventually I'd like to go back to school and maybe in the distant future, long, long future, um, <laughs> I'd maybe like to be back in the classroom as maybe a professor and being able to give back in that way. There's just so many different things for you to be able to do here on campus and at Hofstra and that they've made available to you that it's super easy and it's been really really helpful and I think it's given me the tools to be able to go forward confidently and be and be a really productive person in society.